Interest rates are going up and they're going up fast. The Fed has raised the rate multiple times and they're gonna do it multiple more times in 2022. What does that mean for us as real estate investors? What's that mean for the economy? Interest rates definitely drive activity in the fact that the end product for a lot of flippers is that they wanna sell a house. So if you're selling a house for $300,000, there's a certain pool of people that can afford that payment. And the more of those people you have, the more demand there'll be for that house. However, when interest rates rise the way they are now, as of right now of recording this, interest rates are around five and a half, and they might go to 5.75% in a lot of lending institutions for first time mortgages, for first mortgage holders on a house. That's, that's a lot higher than it's been because just last year, we bought our own home at 2.85. And some of you guys had 2.75, I even heard. So crazy low interest rates before. So what happens when interest rates double? Not as many people can afford the higher priced house. So you're gonna have less buyers for that same piece of property. Does that mean the real estate market's gonna crash? You know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do not think that's going to happen. Do I think it's gonna slow a little bit? I think yes. I think we won't see the 30 and 40 offers on a property. Now, will you see 10? Maybe. Will you just see a couple offers? Quite possibly. You'll see more reasonable offers on properties and not people bidding 30, 40, $50,000 over asking because they can no longer afford that because those numbers require a larger monthly payment because the interest rates are so much higher. So that's gonna change the dynamics there. Now, it's not gonna happen instantly because a lot of people are already locked in at lower rates now and as time goes on, we'll start to see that impact the real estate market where there'll be not such a frenzy for this. Now, what does it typically mean for us? Do property values go down? You know, if you go back, historically speaking, and look back in the 1970s, back when Carter was in office and interest rates went through the roof, I remind you, some of you may not know this, but interest rates were as high as 18%. I don't know if it got higher than that, but 18% for a first time mortgage. My brother in Colorado, I remember back in the 80s, paid 18% for his first mortgage. Can you imagine that today? It sounds scary, but people did. And people thought that property values would drop back then, but they didn't, they didn't. What happens is those interest rates eventually will slow down and come back to more of a normal rate. It's been extremely low, which has been great for real estate investing long-term, but as of right now, they are going up. So what should you do to prepare yourself? Well. I would definitely try to get your hands on as many long-term rentals as you can before the rates go even higher. So, because as you buy those rental properties, you won't be able to make as much cash flow because again, your monthly payment is going to be more. So keep an eye on that. Also, what's gonna happen is that there will come a time when the market will start to slow enough where there's more houses on the market to buy. I can tell you a lot of us investors have been waiting for this to happen because at some right now, it's been very difficult to find inventory because the market has been so crazy, right? There has been little, a few houses for a lot of buyers. Well, eventually what's gonna happen as the market gets tougher is you'll see a lot of these so-called guru investors slip out and go do something else because the market's gonna start getting a little bit tougher to deal with. That means there's gonna be more opportunity for those of us to stay in the game and there'll be more houses for us to buy. More people, if they have adjustable rate mortgages, payments will go up on those houses. They're gonna have to sell those houses. They might go into foreclosure. And that creates massive opportunity for real estate investors to be able to buy those houses at a discount and be able to flip those houses, turn them into rentals or whatever it might be. So rising interest rates in this economy, people have, have tried to compare this back to 2008. When we had the massive recession, don't forget that was brought on by fraudulent lending and a lot of people that had no business buying houses. They had, there were basic business fundamentals that were not being followed. And because of that, we had a massive real estate induced financial crisis back in 2008. What's happening now is really more of a law of a supply and demand. It's more basic business fundamentals. There's not as many houses for as many buyers as there are. And when you add in low interest rates, it created a of just a perfect storm because people all of a sudden could afford houses that before that they couldn't afford. So we had a lot more buyers for just those few pieces of property. As the interest rates level out though, you're gonna see that level out in the real estate market. So what do I advise you to do? By all means, keep investing in real estate. Don't go sit on the sidelines because people have made money in the markets where they were 3%, 5%, 8%, 12%, and 16%, and 18%. There are always people that are buying 
property because I, just historically speaking, real estate investing always outpaces inflation or at least keeps up with inflation. So keep buying real estate. Try and find the best deals you can and keep buying real estate. It's cyclical. Right now, the rates will be high. They might go higher, but eventually they will come back down. You can refinance at that time and do what you want to do with your long-term rentals. But just because the rates are increasing does not mean that you should stop investing. Because if you do, you're just going to miss out. And if you wait for the perfect time to invest, there's never a perfect time. A lot of people have not been investing for a year. Like the rates are going to go up, the rates are going to go up and they haven't been investing. And meanwhile, it stayed low for years and they missed out because they were so scared it was gonna go up. Now it actually is going up. So buy that real estate, take that action, take that step. Just remember, if the numbers work, the numbers work. We have a home flipping evaluator we give our students. Use that home flipping evaluator and use our rental uh, uh, portfolio um, uh, spreadsheet that helps you understand how the numbers work. And if the numbers work, even with the higher interest rate, buy that house because eventually that house will be worth more money and someday the rates will come back down you'll be able to refinance i hope that helps do not let high interest rates stop you from becoming a successful real estate investor there's going to be a great opportunity for a lot of us coming up really soon so get ready